So how does the Canon C70 stack up this brand new camera, it's absolutely beautiful. When you tack on the new mount adapter, this is so that you can mount the Canon EF lenses onto the Canon RF mount that the Canon C70 has. In this video, let's go ahead and check it out. We'll do an unboxing so that you can see exactly what the mount adapter looks like, the process for attaching it to the new Canon C70, and you can decide for yourself. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Canon C70 as well as the new Canon mount adapter to mount Canon EF lenses to the RF mount that the C70 has. If you wanna see more videos like this and you wanna learn about video production or live streaming, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below as well as the like button to let me know that you wanna see more videos exactly like this. So let's hop right in. And first of all, I wanna give a couple of quick impressions of what the C70 is like. I've only only really been playing with it for a little while now. I've had it for just a couple days and al already I love it. I have to say that this is kind of like an oversized DSLR. It reminds me of the 1DX line of cameras, a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier, but I don't feel like I'm shooting really nice uh, footage with something as small as like a, say a Canon 90D or one of the smaller line DSLRs. So all in all, build-wise, I think that Canon did a fantastic job with this camera. It even has kind of that, that new camera texture to it, so it was really nice to kind of feel that fresh out of the box. Uh, I will say that I have had some people kind of complain about the LCD monitor being a little bit wiggly or fidgety. I have not seen that. That hasn't been my experience with this camera. And as you can see here in this shot, I'm gonna go ahead and just wiggle it for you. It's It's got a tiny bit of give that you would expect to see out of a, a screen that's being flipped out to the side and you know it's being held on by a very tiny part there. So I'd expect it to have a certain amount of give just to be safe and to make sure that you know it's not going to come flying off, but this is not something that I feel like is going to over time have issues. I feel like it's gotta be able to turn and twist so that you can use it. So there's going to be some play. Uh, you know, could there be a couple cameras that have had issues? Absolutely. When you're creating thousands upon thousands of cameras, will there be problems? Sure, that's just the nature of creating a product that you need to create over and over again. So that doesn't bother me at all. I'm really happy about the overall layout of all the buttons. Uh, having you know the hand grip here is really nice. I feel like my hand is just in the right spot. It feels really nice and light to, to the touch. Um, Getting used to the new XLR inputs will definitely be a change of pace from the Canon C200. Uh, with the smaller XLR connectors, we will have to have some adapters for the full size XLR connection. But overall, I think that everything's just in the right place. I feel like uh, this is really well thought out and someone really put a lot of time into where everything should be at. So. Kudos to you, Canon. Great job there. So let's move on to the Canon mount adapter. I'm really excited for this because a lot of people weren't getting them just yet, and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to use my Canon EF lenses, which I have not made the leap to the RF line yet. I think that those lenses are just a little bit too expensive right now. Uh, perhaps the price will go down a little bit as Sigma and these other lens makers will create their own RF line of lenses. But for now, Let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of the brand new mount adapter. So I'm excited to get this guy up and running and uh, to get this on the camera just so I can use it with all of my lenses now. And uh, so first things first, right out of the box, typical limited warranty card, nothing special. Uh, I typically leave these in the box. I'm not too worried about that. Um, so your little manuals, we can, uh, we can pull out Looks like there's a Japanese and a Chinese one. I don't know that I could follow those very well. Um, so we'll see if maybe we can, uh, we'll kind of wing this and figure this one out. But so I'm gonna put those off to the side for now. First things first, it looks like there is a bubble wrap uh, little bit here that's got our little mounting brackets. Um, the screws appear to be kind of built into the bracket, so that's nice, you won't lose that. So I'm gonna put that bubble wrap off to the side. Our little torque wrench. It's nice when it comes with the tool so you don't have to go fishing for one. 
some cardboard, some more bubble wrap. So this was really well packed. Uh, can definitely appreciate that when, when a product is well packed and safely transported. And here we go. So this is it, tiny little guy, um, pretty similar in size to the other EF adapters that we've seen, like the ones that came with the Canon EOS R. Uh, really nice solid build. You can tell that this is metal. It doesn't feel plasticky at all. Uh, you, of course, your your caps, your front cap and your rear cap are going to made, be made of plastic, but really nice solid build. So I'm happy with that. So now the question becomes, how do we get that adapter mounted to this Canon C70 that currently has the EF adapter from the EOS R built onto here? So really simple, just gonna hit that button so that we can take this adapter off. So let's line this up and get this mounted. So right here, the red dot to the red dot, if you can see that in camera, and then we'll twist and it locked into place. So we could stop here. This, this could be fine as is, we could use this. Uh, I'd feel safe with this. It's certainly, you know, this is not going anywhere. But simply for the sake of using this for the long run, uh, I'd love to get it locked into place with these brackets because I don't have any intentions of using the Canon RF lenses for a little bit. I just don't feel like going and selling all of my EF lenses that work on all of the other cameras like my C200, like my EOS R. Uh, I'm just not ready to make that leap and sell everything to buy new stuff. So let's go ahead and go get these brackets opened up here. So you can see these down here in our close-up shot. Um, nice simple brackets. Looks like they're just gonna lock this guy right into place and we've got two of them. So we'll get our second one opened up. I will say that I'm always concerned by the amount of plastic that comes with things like this. You know, for such a small adapter, I don't think it's necessary to have all this plastic waste, but that's for a video for another day. So we've got our two little mounting brackets here, and this is supposed to lock it all in place. I'm gonna kind of, I guess, take out the screws that are built in here because it looks like we've got four screws, uh, one, two, three, and four. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out first. So we've got our little Torx wrench and let's go ahead and get to work. So now uh, we've got our screws out and it hasn't changed much. It's just four little screws. And let's figure out how we can go ahead and lock in this adapter. So it looks like it just sits right over top. So you'll notice here there's actually a little rim around the adapter. It's, it doesn't quite come flush with the camera. And this actually has a little rim just inside of it as well. So this just sits pretty flush now with the adapter on there. So we wanna go ahead and get our wrench again. And we're gonna lock this in place with the new screws. I typically do this to two finger tightness uh, is what I call it. Usually if you can take two fingers and just tighten the rest of the screw, um, you don't want to over tighten something like this because over time it can certainly wear down on the screws and so we want to make sure that we're keeping our camera in good condition in the event that we ever end up selling it, which I do, uh, you know, every couple years when I upgrade stuff. But now we've got all four screws in, um, so it does cover up the button release for uh, releasing the adapter. I think that's probably how it's supposed to go. So I'm totally okay with that. Just want to make sure obviously that we're doing this properly. Um, 
this is pretty much ready to go. That is our adapter, and we'll do some other tests later to find out what it's like having the Canon lenses on it and seeing how they function with this new speed booster. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below if you liked this video. And if you want to learn more about live streaming, video production work, Canon cameras, because I am a Canon fanboy at heart, and uh, anything else like that, you know, please do let me know down in the comments. And that thumbs up button below just lets me know that you love this video. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.